you guys welcome back to my channel my name is Stephanie Charlene Marie this is Charlene Marie lifestyle today we're going to get into a few things I'm going to be doing an unboxing of Wayfair goodies we're going to put them together and we're going to discuss them also my sunroom I want to redesign my sunroom just spruce it up for the spring summer we're going to discuss how it currently looks and I want to discuss my plans over the next few weeks and we're going to redo this room together so I'm excited to share this space with you if you're interested just keep watching we're going to do some unboxing of some things I have received from Wayfair I, well I'm not sponsored by Wayfair at this time however the items that I'm going to show today I did receive for free I am in a program with Wayfair wow. the quality of the products that I received from Wayfair I'm very excited because the two pieces I got from Wayfair they're very great quality and I you guys I really encourage you to check out furniture from Wayfair I've been ordering from Wayfair for a really long time at least the last six years I can honestly say one thing I really appreciate about Wayfair furniture is that it's really easy to put together. I'm definitely not a mechanically inclined person. That's okay because what I've personally noticed is a lot of times when you're purchasing a um, better quality product, there's less parts to put together. So it works out for me. And also these pieces are like modern, clean line, mid-century modern, but the wicker that you're gonna see on the front makes it a little bit more homier. And even though I'm going for a um, modern vibe on my sunroom, I also want my sunroom to still feel homey because that is the design style that I lean toward. I like things to be luxurious, but to still feel homey. I too encourage you to check out the reviews on Wayfair. I find the reviews to be pretty much spot on. Um, hence, I do review things from Wayfair, so um, they're really spot on. But also, if you're not happy with the product, you always can return things and get a full refund but i just really feel like for the price point of the items you're definitely getting your money's worth um, because these items um, <clears throat> are on the lower end of the spectrum as far as pricing is concerned because we know that furniture can be um, really pricey but in this instance even though the furniture is not as pricey as others, you're still not sacrificing the quality. I know that other materials can be repairable, but just in my honest opinion, I don't feel that anything, um, any result is better than repairing a natural product such as wood. So for you, those of you who get it, you get it. So that's what I have to say off this is the first piece I really love it very well made it's handmade from India and solid wood it was very easy to assemble even though it looked like I was having a little struggle for a minute it's just that I'm really not mechanically inclined but I was able to put the two it was just two legs as you can see but I was able to get them on overall but, oh, it's a great piece Let's go up to it so I just want you to see like it's very well made like so pretty so pretty it's a little dusty but we can expect that with wood now I am going to change out this knob I'm not a fan of that knob I'm going to um, do something more modern for the knob and I'm going to put some um, felt on the bottom of the legs of this piece. But Wayfair did a great job. Open it up, this is the drawer. 
so this can be a nightstand a side table i'm going to use it outside on my florida room a like a side table and made of mango solid wood it does come with a warranty and let me tr i'm trying to see the weight because it's really heavy it's not light and wayfair has this in multiple colors i chose the predominant color as being black okay and i don't see the actual weight which is really weird because wayfair normally would have the weight it just has the dimensions for some reason but it's definitely a nice piece and so if you're looking for something new and this is what i consider to be like a um, transitional piece where it can go into different rooms and so i like pieces like this very so this is the other piece that came with this set i just really love it um <clears throat> i don't like the knobs once again i'm going to change that out i'm going to change it to a brighter gold um, I believe that's going to elevate it how I want it more so maybe a um, brushed bronze so we'll see and like this is the back I definitely would recommend these nightstands slash end tables whatever you want to use them for anytime you're looking for something for a new space I always recommend that you measure to make sure that it's the height and width that you need. That's one thing that I'm big on doing is when I'm looking for new things to measure. So let me open up the drawers. <clears throat> now the drawers are not soft clothes or anything like that, but it's going outside of my Florida room and they're going to be durable. And that's what I like, durability, because it's wood real wood another so, product that i wanted to show you that i received from wayfair it is a sputnik light and so it's really modern um kind of modern scandinavian um vibe i really like it and i'm redoing another bedroom in our house and so um i really like vintage high-end parisian furniture and so that's what I lean toward in my design. And also in my design, even though I like European vintage, I like to add a lot of modern touches. That way it gives a balance to the space. I'm going to do a modern space. It's gonna be very modern, but it's gonna be a spin of modern luxury. And um, it's just gonna be a vibe. So too, in re redoing this space, I am taking a long time um, because things are really expensive. Um, lighting for sure is expensive, even though this lighting I didn't have to pay for. Um, I pretty much paid for every lighting in our home. So even though I didn't pay for this lighting, lighting is very expensive. It's um, gonna take me some time when I start to work on the other space. but. A good thing is once you're able to get spaces how you want them, you don't ever have to worry about just having to buy, buy, buy. <clears throat> okay. So, we'll first start over here. So, I have custom doors over here. And as you can see, custom doors I had the ceiling painted balanced beige by Sharon Williams this is the wood here from many many years ago very old wood like the ceiling has a lot of character so I have the ceiling painted balanced beige and the walls are painted white duck or duck white I can't remember which one 
So right now, it's some. I'm so ready to transform this area into a modern resort. It's going to be such a vibe. These blinds in this space is also custom. There are so many windows. It's so bright. The winter, I decided to transform this space into a modern cabin and I executed it ex effortlessly, but now it's time to transition for the spring summer. Okay, so these chairs are considered wicker, rattan, and solid wood. They are very well constructed, I really like them. They're definitely outdoor furniture. You can have them indoors. These clearly are indoors in my sunroom. There has been no fading of any sort and they've been out here for approximately three years now and they're still in great condition. So good investment and great price. This is the flower that my friend got me. The fern the actual plant that my friend got me. And this is the table that it's sitting on. <clears throat> so this is the other cheek, let's say. This is how this is looking. <clears throat> and some of this stuff wasn't out here, but I knew that I was getting ready to redo some things out here. This so is I'm my favorite seat. As you can see, I have my pillow here. This is where I love to sit. And this is like the couch, the love seat that accompanies the two chairs. But when I take this stuff off, you'll see how it looks. This is my current table situation. Is a little seat from Wayfair. It, it actually can sit someone that's over 250 pounds, so it's very substantial. The mirror, feathers, and vase will not be in this space. The mirror, if you know, if you follow me on Insta, there was a whole situation. I'm going to re-gift this mirror. The other two items, I'm going to put them in storage, but the actual seat, this ottoman, I'm going to keep that out here. But normally when I transition this space for the spring summer, I like to keep it light and airy. But this year I'm going to possibly add a little bit more coziness to it. Last year, it was more so just like a tropical resort type vibe. And I'm still into it, but I'm just going to um, push myself design wise and just do some other little finishing touches for the space because I will be spending a lot of time in my sunroom over the summer. So it's just going to be a whole situation. Stay tuned. And what I like about these doors is both of these doors open. <clears throat> this is like so pretty to me. It's just a whole vibe. And this little seat stays here. So this is what it looks like. So I need to do some vacuuming, get some stuff together. Just really do some sprucing up in here. But this is one of my favorite rooms in the house. I love like the detail of this space, the woodwork, and just, it's just so pretty and cozy. And then it transitions into brick. It's just a whole vibe. So when I'm sitting in my favorite spot, this is normally my view. And of course I have the window shades open and I'm planning to replace 
this picture with something very abstract what it's going to be I don't know yet I'm definitely you know I love mirrors but I'm definitely not getting a mirror we have so many windows out here it's like so bright when all of the windows are open it's like amazing or when all of the blinds are up I should say some switching and rearranging so we're going to see You guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Um, every time I rearrange a room, it's not always me going out and buying new things. Sometimes I just shop my home, just do an overall refresh. In this instance, I did receive some things from Wayfair and I'm going to change out the space. You know, I spend a lot of time at home and seeing that this is the place I like to be, I want it to be to my level of expectation and comfortability. So, I hope you en are enjoying my content. Welcome to Charlene Marie Lifestyle. See you guys next week. Bye. <laughs>